it's Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about time to get your plans in place. <clears throat> Talking about all your plans. What is your big picture plan for what event you plan you think might go down? Um, do you think we're going to have economic collapse? Do you think we're going to have a civil war? Do you think that the uh, we're going to have another, you know, spike, a second wave, whatever, pandemic, um, food shortages, EMP, um, invasion, whatever. There's a lot of different scenarios out there. <clears throat> and each one of them has different, I guess, but maybe some similar aspects in planning for it. Bugging out, bugging in. Your group. SOPs, standard operating procedures. What do you do if? What do you do when? Those kind of things. I hope you guys are thinking about those things and have your plans in place now. Because you need to know, sorry about that. What if, so like bugging out, what are your parameters? Do you have any idea of what has to go down for you to need to bug out? Um, bugging in also, same thing. Bugging in is a little bit easier because you're already there. Um, <clears throat> but another thing is, when are you going to increase your security? Hopefully you've already done that to an extent. You know, they've let out a lot of criminals and stuff like that recently. You know, there's some unrest, and it depends on where you live also. If you live in the country like I do, nobody's really going to get out here. Things would have to get really ugly before they get out here. So, um, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying that I would have a much better forewarning of what's going to go down and be able to prepare myself where I live than maybe somebody lives in the city. Um, city can explode like instantly and within hours, you know, a city could go into complete chaos. And uh, yeah, that's really worrisome, <clears throat> especially with, you know, the sh food shortages coming due to crop failures in the Midwest, due to the packing plants shutting down, due to farmers plowing their fields under, due to all these different things, and the bottlenecks in the supply chain. I mean, a lot of these things, you know, restaurants shut down, so all this stuff going to restaurant supply stores, you know, it, it can't just repackage it, send it to another place, and, uh, you know, repackage it for a grocery store. So there's all these bottlenecks, and that expands out, and the effects on the other side are great, because <clears throat> the way it all fans out, it affects so many different things. Any bottleneck, you know, there's a, there's a big, there's like a pyramid under the bottleneck and an upside down pyramid above the, the, um, the bottleneck. So there's a lot of effects. So we need to have plans in place for all these things. We need to, you know, war game in your mind or on paper or on a whiteboard, whatever you want. War game different scenarios with your family, with your group, or by yourself. And think about what your responses would be to each. Everything you can come up with from, you know, bad guys showing up at your doorstep, showing up at your property line, whatever, like all the different scenarios I talked about. <clears throat> I mean, with all the stimulus and debt and everything like that, we already, most of you probably already know that, um, you know, our economy and our debt and all this stuff is not sustainable. I mean, our economy is, but our economic, um, you know, how much we owe on the debt and everything like that and the dollar and quantitative easing and all that stuff like that is not sustainable. So, you know, financial collapse is like, like likely at least, if not, you know, relevant to the situation. Also, you know, if a second wave, if we open up stuff and second wave comes or come this, you know, fall and winter, a second wave of this virus comes, people start freaking out again, grocery stores start going empty, people start losing their minds, rioting, looting, etc. You guys, you guys get where I'm going with that. So please be wargaming now. Hopefully you've already done this. Hopefully you've already wargamed and you already have all these things in your mind. But if you don't, Please do it now. Please, um, you know, get all your plans down. I can't tell you what to do because well, all of our situations are different. Um, I'm in a different area than you are. I have different preps than you do. I have different, you know, um, group than you do. All the different things. So, um, and then a lot of people are like, well, you're not very specific or you don't, you know, maybe you just don't know what you're talking about. No, I know what I'm talking about. I'm just not going to here and blow smoke up your butt and tell you that I have the answer for you. I don't have the answers for you. That's stuff you have to come up with. I'm here to empower you guys 
to think about things, to do the things, to plan for the things, prepare, get the things, train, all this stuff like that. That's what I'm here for. And to motivate you to plant the seeds. Um, that's, that's my job. Um, your job is to actually do it. I can't do it for you. I can't tell you what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Um, so I hope this helps you guys. I hope that uh, you are planning. And I hope that, you know, things don't get bad. But I don't know. I, I just think that, you know, things... I foresee things getting really bad. Um, talked with somebody earlier today when I went over and I got some um, um, plant starts from them. Um, they have basically homestead type thing going on. Um, and I'm not, really, I'm not gonna tell you who they are, who they work for, what they do, but um, they know what they're talking about. And this likelihood of things getting really ugly um, and, or like summertime, maybe sooner, and also fall, winter some big potential for bad, uh, for SHTF, WROL, whatever. Um, then they're in the know. So I guess you got to trust me on that. I don't want to release, you know, any information about them. So, uh, but they know what they're talking about. I uh, hope that helps. I hope you guys take it seriously. Uh, you guys know, you should know, unless you're new here, I don't do fear porn. Um, prep out of peace of mind, not out of fear. That's my one of my key sayings. As well as prep a little every day. This is one of the things. You can be wargaming every day. Write down a couple of things. And then whenever you meet, you know, have all your group members, family members, whoever it may be, buddies. Um, have each one of them have homework assignments of writing down scenarios. And then maybe some responses. And then get together and talk about it. Analyze. Think about whatever, you know, what everybody came up with. And then formulate a plan. And from that plan, write a, write a list of SOPs that everybody can have. That's, like I said earlier, standard operating, operating procedures. It's your list. It's, your, um, it's basically your plans of what do you do if this happens? What do you do when this happens? Stuff like that, like I already said. Um, but please do this. Get yourself in order. Get yourself in order. I love you guys. I hope you do awesome things. And blessings to you and yours.